Hi, I'm John. This is my show, A Sports Reckoning. So, I'm going to make this video, this is strictly entertainment purposes, right? Now, and what's really funny is you're going to see that I'm going to start making it and you're going to start being like, huh, oh, this is pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> and so the kind of the purpose of what I'm also making this for is I want you to see that if I so chose to do this kind of work, I can do this kind of work. I could get a lot of attention. I could get a lot of views to my page. All I would need is an editor. Okay. If I so choose to got an editor, because I mean, okay, I have a pretty good personality. I can speak on here. I'm not some bozo who can't fucking speak. I'm pretty, I can speak pretty well. I can, I can connect to people, right? But I also have other skills. I can write songs if I so choose. I can write jokes and shit, right? I actually have a little bit of talent and shit, right? So if I so chose to be like a real YouTuber and shit, right? Then, and, and I wanted to do stuff like this. I'm just, the reason I'm making this is to show you if I was, if this was the purpose of me making my Michael Jackson story, then I would be doing that kind of stuff, right? Now I was doing some kind of stuff like this on my Michael Jackson page when the Kobe Bryant died. I was explaining that to you people a little bit, but, uh, and this is one of the things that happened is that, uh, they start cracking down. You start, you start, connecting too many dots, you start going into too much stuff. There's stuff, areas you start going into that they don't want you going in there doing this kind of stuff. They don't want, they don't want to allow it. They start striking your page. And so my American Scheme page had gotten two strikes on it and I could not risk losing all of my Michael Jackson work for anything else. There was nothing else that's important. So I completely, uh, I deleted every video I had that was related to any form of other stuff that I was doing that wasn't my Michael Jackson story. I deleted it. And that was all the stuff I was getting all my attention from and shit, right? If, if I so chose to monetize my page and make money off, like I could have completely been a YouTuber. If my purpose was to be a YouTuber, to, if I was making my Michael Jackson story up because I wanted, that's what I'm just trying to say. If I wanted to do that, I could have done did it. If I want to keep doing it, I could keep doing it. I just, that's not who I am whatsoever. So I'm just going to show you this, that if I wanted to do this, this I could do this fucking shit right so because I'm gonna say this is better than the fucking story that they put out my shit I haven't even I put no effort into this and it's already better <laughs> so what this is gonna be is that flipping Steve was uh, in a form connecting my story to this type of uh, story of the uh, Paul McCartney is dead story that they that he was replaced and stuff right flipping Steve was talking about he was linking this kind of a story up to my story when he was speaking to uh, Ryan Nolan and shit on that show yesterday or whatever, right? And so it's like, okay, I mean, it's fine. So I wanted to go, I had heard the story and I've seen it and stuff, but I wanted to just look at it again really quick to just get a basic idea of what they were talking about and stuff because Flip and Steve had brought it up. So I wanted to see like how comparable this is. And so it's like, Flip and Steve, dude, I have fucking, my shit's Diana Ross and Michael telling you the whole goddamn thing, like full on confessing. My stuff is like far and above and beyond. So like, even though you can compare this to a style of the stuff, you would have to say though that the investigation of what I'm doing is actually coming from the horse's mouth. It's Diana's words. I'm using her words. I'm using Michael's words. And when I use the songs, I break down the whole fucking song. I don't fucking nitpick on one little lyric here and there and shit. I break down the songs and it's over and over and over, like a bunches of them. My shit is like a heavy hardcore, heavy duty. And like just the shit like Diana Ross is in Michael Jackson's wheel. Like, so when they're saying this shit and it's like, Michael Jackson, you go look at Michael Jackson getting his uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame when he's getting his solo inductee into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. He says, I want to thank Diana Ross, who is my second mother. That's what I'm saying. This is not me. This is, they, they're the ones doing it. My Michael Jackson investigation is a whole different fucking cake and shit, right? But this is just for entertainment, just to like show you guys that I've got fucking skills. If I want to do this shit, I could done do this shit. And on the time, this is not why I'm here. None of that shit, right? So here, this is like, this conspiracy, what I'm going to do is I'm going to link up the Paul is dead conspiracy. And I'm going to say that that was misinterpreted, that there was something there, but it was misinterpreted. And the real true interpretation is going to link up to the Illuminati, Illuminati and the 9-11 on 9-11 and shit, right? This is what I'm going to link this up to, okay? So here we go. Let me get this started. And let's talk more about that album for a quick second. Once again, this is among the most iconic album art of all time. Okay, I gotta stop that really quick because I gotta highlight. Okay, right there, I'm saying this is the most famous uh, of all time. I've got to show you somebody really quick here, up here. One of the people on this album cover. Okay, so see on the top, 
Not the guy all the way to the left, the next guy, the bald guy, okay? That's Aleister Crowley, okay? And so, just by Aleister Crowley being in this picture, I could take this to places that if you people are not familiar with him and you don't understand, without me getting into it, I'm just saying that that right there, because he is there and it's going to link up to what I'm showing you here too, because it's going to link up, I'm going to show you to stuff that's saying the larger picture of what they're saying. Instead of Paul is dead, that's not actually, they're not saying Paul is dead, they're saying Paul, who's the uh, apostle to Christ, who's a teacher of Christ's message. Well, that's why when they say St. Paul, when they call Paul, Paul is dead, and they call him St. Paul, it's St. Paul, that's the Paul is like a teacher of Christ. So what they're saying is that Christ is dead, that the teachings of Christ are dead. And Aleister Crowley is there to emphasize to you that that's what that is. That's what they're talking about. That's what the Paul is dead is and shit, right? So I'll get to that. I'll get back to them more of that in a second. Let me show you. I had to show you the Aleister Crowley though. Oh, and so since I showed you the Aleister Crowley, because I did pull up another thing since i showed you the alistair crowley just so i can show you of the importance of what i'm talking about this is an ozzy osbourne song called mr crowley this is about alistair crowley right and listen to the so we're talking about uh the the black the black arts and shit you know that kind of black black magic and those that's what this is mr crowley's all into that shit right and that's what and so it's ozzy osbourne you're talking about the devil worship stuff with like ozzy osbourne here he is worshiping mr crowley which is alistair crowley that guy I just showed you on the album cover so here you listen to this for a second and you can hear how it's like did you talk to the dead so mr crowley so that's what i'm saying if you don't know who alistair crowley is this is what i'm showing you just so you can understand that when i showed you that alistair crowley there's ozzy talking about alistair crowley did you talk to the dead you heard all that how that's all the black arts the black music the the ceremonial black ceremonial type of shit right so that's what i'm showing you and like how I, so that's what i'm saying just by me showing you stuff, this stuff, you're going to start seeing it. Like, oh, okay, this stuff's linking up, and I'm going to show you that I've got the talent to do this stuff if I so chose, but this is not what I'm doing. I'm doing this just for entertainment purposes, but I'm showing you, even with my just in quick effort into this, my interpretation of this is going to be far better than that fucking conspiracy that's out there and shit about the Paul is dead. Mine's already going to be better than their shit. So here, let's listen to more of this. And, once again, its intense detail leads one to believe that there is something hidden behind all of the images. The sea of faces looking over the scene, the garden of flowers almost acting as a memorial, and the mix of the band's past and present both being at the scene. But the greatest discovery of all came when someone decided to hold a mirror up to just below the three main members of the band, revealing what seems to be a secret message. One, one, nine. He died. Okay, 119, he died. Let me... With an arrow pointing directly to Paul. Oh shit, buddy, I gotta dig a little deeper. 119 is interpreted to be the date of death, aka 11-9. Okay, so, see, uh, I think they're gonna say it's on a... Oh, shoot. Oh, that wasn't even... <laughs> I didn't have it clicked up good enough and stuff, right? But so the Sergeant Peppers thing, what they show there is it, they... Uh, it's like, now I don't... Uh, now I almost feel like I gotta play that again just to show you when it goes up like that, just so you guys can see it. Here, let me play it again a little bit. Here, just so you can see. Of all came when someone decided to hold a mirror up to just below the three main members of the band, revealing what seems... Okay, so you see it like that, and I'm gonna go to where it has the 9-11 and stuff, right? Okay, so they and so that's the thing with that Aleister Crowley guy. It's like forwards and backwards, and the, the Satan worship, and the, it's all about that stuff, right? So this fits in exactly to the, the message of Aleister Crowley. That's what I'm saying. When they did this, it's like, yes, this does fit into that. And what it also fits into is the Illuminati, right? It's the the true overtaking of the, the world. And I, there's certain words I don't want to say and stuff. There's Okay, so this is what this is saying. And so what happens is I investigated 9-11. And what I found out is that, because what happens, I made a video. And I made a video that said 9-11, I was saying, uh, built to crash. Okay? I was So I investigated this. And what I was saying was that the... Trade centers, they built them and designed them because they knew that they were going to be inevitably used in this terrorist attack to, to bring upon their new world order. And let's, I start saying the words I can't. I don't, you got to be careful, start saying this shit. I start making videos. I, was like, I start getting too much and starts getting, it's, this is good shit, right? And so I was like, when I start telling you this stuff, I was like, it's dangerous for me to do this stuff, right? But so, 
So when it's saying 9-11, he died, if it's pointing at Paul and saying Paul dies on 9-11, like I said, that's talking to, it's, it's, this is about 9-11. This is Illuminati stuff, right? And like I said, oh, and so that I went back and I said, what I was saying was the World Trade Center built to crash, right? And then so what I looked up is also the telephone code for the 9-11. And what you find out is that the telephone code was created very shortly before they started building the World Trade Centers. So I was saying that's what they were doing. They, they lined up the 9-11 with the building of the Trade Centers, that that stuff had happened from its origin, because this is a thing about the Satan's, they call it sigil magic, that they've got to show you what they're going to do. Their evil deeds, they have to show it to you before they do it. There's a thing about, like, it relieves the guilt from them that they told you what they were going to do and they did it. There's like this, they call sigil magic, I think, and stuff. Just to give a shout out to the Call for an Uprising, he's the guy on YouTube, that I, I feel really bad that YouTube is just like, they're really taking him down, right? But he's done all kinds of investigations similar to this, so I did learn a lot of stuff from him and stuff, right? Especially like Alistair Crowley, boy, he really done great investigations. So that's what I'm saying is that 9-11, he died, and if they're talking about Paul, Paul is going to be the apostle of Christ, the Saint Paul, right? Because they said in this, it was Saint Paul, right? So as I show you here, this is about Paul. Let me just read this real quick. See how it says Saint Paul right there? Okay, was a Christian apostle who spread the teachings of Jesus. Okay, so when you're saying Paul died on 9-11, that's the symbol of the Illuminati's taking over of the new, see, I, fuck, I'm gonna get this page. And see, I, I can't make, that's why I don't make these videos too, because once you start talking this shit and you start seeing, it's like, oh, this shit's pretty fucking good, then the AI shit's fucking, and it takes your shit down, and it's like, fuck. So it's, I'm not even kind of scared of making this video and shit, right? But that's what they're talking about. It's, it's the 9-11 was the symbolization of the end of the old world, the 9-11 was a symbol. It was the Illuminati. They were done that from the beginning. It was built to crash. They had all the stuff. What they were, so that's, I'm just giving you a clue I'm, without trying to say too much and shit. Fuck. But that's what they're saying. When they're saying that. So then it says here. Let me play this again. Because I think it's on. I think it's on this part when they start saying the Wednesday thing. So let me go and play this here. 11-9, the 9th of November. On the back cover, George glares down to the reader and points his finger knowingly to a specific lyric. Wednesday morning at 5 o'clock as the day begins. Okay, so Wednesday morning at 5 o'clock as the day begins. And what I'm saying is that represents the day after 9-11, which here's a New York Times. Wednesday, September 12th. Wednesday morning at five o'clock as the day begins. And there, here comes the press of the newspaper and shit. That's what you get on the Wednesday morning. You get the newspaper coming out. Attack! Attack! We're attacked and shit, right? Wednesday morning at 5 a.m., right? When the newspapers are coming out into the fucking, right onto the newsstands and shit, right? That's what I, that's what this is talking about and shit, right? 9-11. Wednesday morning, the day after, right? That's what they're talking about in this shit, right? Paul died. Paul is the, the teachings of Christ. Died on 9-11. That's what they're talking about. That's what this shit's all about. Because this shit, because, and what I'm saying is, because actually I kind of believe like this shit too, because like, um, the Illuminati, I'm going to show you other things to show you that the Illuminati was doing stuff like that in the, they're doing stuff in the art. They were doing stuff like this. A lot of the stuff they were even doing that the people, that the artists wouldn't even understand that the stuff was there, that it was being placed there and shit. A lot of it, they wouldn't even understand that it was there and shit, right? So let me go on here. Now, this is just a recording. This is in reverse. This is one of the Beatles songs and this is in, this is being played in reverse and it's going to say like, Paul is dead and shit, miss him. So that's what, I, but when he's saying miss him, because it's John talking, it sounds like John, but it's, uh, that's what they're talking about. It's the Paul, the Saint Paul, which is the teacher of Christ. And so they're talking about like the Paul and the apostle and the fucking Christ. And that's what they miss and shit, right? That's what this is about. He's when dead. listening to the end of the song, I'm so tired, one can hear what seems to be John muttering utter gibberish. But when playing the album in reverse, <laughs> The song Strawberry okay, so Fields. Paul is dead, man. Miss him, miss him, miss him. And there's a, also a really famous thing where the Beatles had gotten a lot of trouble in their past because John had come out and said that we're bigger than Jesus, man. He, they were saying something about how big, and he said, we're bigger than Jesus. So that's a 
that's a thing too where I could link it up if I wanted to link it up to and show you that this is this conversation is taking place and and John himself said he was bigger than Jesus and what he's saying is that Jesus is dead that we've transitioned into the new world and shit that's what the symbolism and the understanding of what all this is going on and shit right and so because of the album cover uh, like I said they're hiding they're hiding stuff in the album covers with 9-11 that this was definitely happening so a lot of you people I don't know, probably I assume that's one of these things I assume you people know about this stuff but then it's like maybe you people a lot of people don't even know about this stuff right so this is the super tramp album cover right so now this shit is hardcore watch this when you hold up the record and you do a mirror image flip of it okay now so first of all let me show it to you here because you need to see so you need to understand this is a super tramp album cover and if you can see it's from the perspective of from the inside of an airplane okay because this is a window here it's being like it's like that they're looking out at new york from the inside of an airplane right and you can see here and then the orange is going up to the trade centers but now when you flip it in reverse like the same thing they did with that album where they raised it up that's that alistair crowley shit that i'm telling you is real if i wanted to show you more this shit would get like crazy crazy serious now watch what happens when you flip it in reverse because it's that sigil magic shit of what they're doing you hold up the record and you do a mirror image flip of it okay then you come here to the world trade centers and it says clearly 9 11 9 11 right above the world trade centers right looking out of a window of an airplane and so what they're saying is that sigil magic that that's like the illuminati telling you about these deeds of their future plans and stuff because they're in control of the world and stuff and this is like they're taking over and stuff and so they, and there's even more to this stuff but 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 just to give you an idea that this stuff is out there can you if you couldn't see that really clear let me show it see it better if you couldn't see it clear see the 9 11 right above the trade center buildings okay so that's the super champ album so now when you go to uh that Super Tramp album, that album, when you go to the guy that, uh, there it is, the guy that actually created the artwork for that album, it's that, this is his page. These are all these albums of, he, see, these are all the albums he created the artwork for these albums, right? So right there is the Super Tramp, Breakfast in America, 1979-1980 Grammy Award winner. That album cover that I just showed you of the Super Tramp, which when you reverse it, it shows 9-11 above the Trade Centers from the perspective of looking from a jetliner airplane. That album won the Grammy Award for Best Album Cover Design Art of that year. That is fucking Illuminati shit, placing that shit there. They gave that the award because they understood the true meaning of what it fucking really represents that album cover won the award the Grammy Award that year for best album cover art all right now well, actually that's all the stuff I'd pulled up in here and shit right okay yeah so like I guess I was just trying to make a quick video and shit right um, I just wanted to show you guys a few things and shit and uh, yeah, I got everything in there I wanted to really get and shit and uh yeah so just a stuff, but so I just want to do a quick video just to show you some stuff to show you linking it up to what I'm saying is what they were doing with the album covers, art, and the stuff like that. That's Illuminati, sigil magic, and that it's represented by the Aleister Crowley that's on that album cover. And I can prove to you that they're they are doing those kind of things on the album cover because I showed you the Super Tramp album cover, and I can show you that that Super Tramp album cover was directly linked to 9-11 which that's the code that was in the Saints the Sergeant Pepper's drum thing when it went up it said it said 119 which is 9-11 in reverse and it says that the then they're pointing at Paul saying Paul died which Paul is the teacher of Christ they're saying that's the end of Christianity because we're moving into the new world order with the true power of the satanic Illuminati that's in charge and shit in control and all the sigil magic and the demonic fucking music and shit, which is they represent with Ozzy Osbourne singing to Aleister Crowley, because they all know about this shit. This is this underlying fucking shit that's going on, these forces, these evil demon forces and shit that we have to go. And they've got the whole world asleep, and none of you people see anything. You just all walk around, you think everything's fine and shit, while they're out there living in this other shit. They're looking at different perspectives. They're worshiping different gods and shit. They have different ideas for the future plans of fucking human society and shit right this shit's fucking going on and so 
That's what the Paul is dead. That's the Paul is dead is the representing of the fucking end of the era of fucking Christ and shit. That's what that shit was actually all about. But the stupid idiots who fucking stumbled upon it, they didn't have any. They didn't know about 9/11 and shit. Probably when that when they started making that uh, thing, they didn't know about 9/11. So they didn't they didn't know about the Illuminati. That shit had not been exposed. But this time now in our present world, that shit's all exposed because they can't can't be stopped. They're open and out and they're doing it in public and they can't be stopped and they have no fear of any repercussions or anything because they just do it blatantly obvious and open and stuff and nobody fucking does anything about it and shit, right? Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. <laughs> have a good night. Talk to you later.